In this half hour, local elections aren't wrapped up quite yet. In just a few days, several cities will hold runoff elections, and this includes the city of Malden, where the vote on Tuesday will determine the next mayor. It is a closely watched race by a lot of folks in this area. 7 News' Ayla Ferrone talked to both runoff candidates about their platforms. Two candidates will be on the ballot for the runoff election here in Malden. Both currently serve the city, but have different visions for the future. People living in Malden will head to the polls again on Tuesday to vote for mayor. The runoff is the only race on the ballot, and voters will choose between incumbent Dennis Rains and challenger Terry Merritt. I've got a lot of help out there, at least I think I do, and a lot of support. I hope I can keep my 39 percent and get the other 61 percent. Rains says he hopes voters will focus on his track record and experience as a public servant for the last four decades. The greatest message is the fact that they need to look back at, at not only the past eight years, but they need to also look at my qualifications. Merritt is currently on city council and hopes to pick up votes that were originally cast for another candidate and a write-in. We had similar messages in fact. We need to communicate and tell the citizens and listen to the citizens. It showed the 24 acres. Both Merritt and Reigns have a plan to create a downtown area in Malden. We have an opportunity now to move from that crossroads syndrome to actually becoming a downtown that will be a destination. Our city center is a radical concept. Uh, we got a shot to make it right and I think we're as close today as we ever have and we need now to communicate that and sell it to all the citizens that are worried about some of the other concerns. Merritt says the biggest problem with the current leadership is not getting information out to the public. There's no secrets. Malden historically has a lot of great things going on, but no one's out telling about them. Rain says he stands out from his opponent because of his work on bringing a city center to life. Actions speak a lot, lot louder than words, okay? And uh, so I've, obviously I've been promoting this for eight years since I've been on city council. Rains boasts that project as well as Bridgeway Station as some of his accomplishments. That also will be an urban walkable village again with the same look. And Merritt plans to be all ears if elected. Tell me, tell me your concerns. I am listening. Uh, I'm not going to promise you I'll solve every one of them tomorrow. But the biggest challenge for these candidates might not be each other, but getting people in Malden out to vote in the runoff. You love this city. Local government is the best, best place for you to really have your voice heard and be responded to. I think the future of the city of Malden really depends on the voters getting out and turning out. The runoff election happens here in Malden on Tuesday, November 19th. I'm reporting in Malden, Ayla Farone, 7 News.